the Syrian National Council uh, and the local coordination committees first, first started reporting uh, this incident uh, last night. And the initial the reports were somewhat conflicting with uh, the death tolls anywhere between 40 and 100. But we're now getting a clearer picture. Both the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights and the local coordination committees are reporting a very similar story with deaths, uh, over 80 deaths uh, in the small town, and scarcely even a village actually, a small cluster of farms uh, called Al Kuber, which is about 20 to 30 kilometers uh, west of Hama. Uh, but the striking thing about uh, this, uh, this massacre uh, is that uh, if these claims are, are true, is that it, it, it really closely resembles the Hula massacre that took place two weeks ago insofar as uh, initially there was shell shelling by the Syrian military forces and that was followed by uh, Shabiha, who are these uh, uh, ununiformed irregulars, uh, Assad loyalist militia, uh, thugs pretty much, who then followed into the town and started killing people at close range with either pistols, uh, small arms fire or, or, or knives even. Now, of course, the, the Syrian government is saying that this was uh, a, a completely different to the, to, to the account that we're hearing from the activists. They say that only nine people were killed, and that, as usual, this was through clashes with uh, terrorists. And, and they've also said that uh, the media reporting on this, in their opinion, is flaring further sectarian violence. But we'll get more clarity on what actually happened uh, because the UN monitors will be, should be able to be on the ground in the near future. Adam, just very briefly, after that massacre in Hula last month, many people were saying this was a clear sign the Anand plan was not working. If this is confirmed, what happens then? Is this a tipping point uh, for the end of that plan and toward new action? Well, people were already saying uh, after the Hula massacre that that was a tipping point. Uh, we even had Ban Ki-moon talk about it as a tip tipping point. Uh, the FSA also uh, uh, took themselves out of the, uh, the, the six-point six peace plan uh, and turned their back on, on any ceasefire uh, and have started uh, offensives again. Uh, and at the same time, it pretty much woke up the world to the fact that the Kofi Annan six-point plan was dead. Uh, so this can only uh, push that even further and, and you can imagine as the Western countries and regional countries are currently meeting to strategize about what to do over the Syrian problem, how to solve it, this is bound to have an impact.